All right, my last fishing trip, I was out here in the morning to beat the summer heat. That's not the case today. We are right in the middle of the summer heat. It is brutally hot today. Got a screaming west wind. It's actually not as bad now as it was earlier in the day. I checked a lot of the buoys and it was blowing 20 earlier today. I think now it's probably blowing about 15. Still a lot. Water is really dirty here in the marsh. It's dirty everywhere, lots of grass. But man, when you get that hard of a west wind, it just dirties everything up. But I got Joel with me today. It's his first time in the new Avid, and we're doing a little competition today. It's one we like to do. It's called First Most Biggest. So you get a point for being the angler to catch the first fish. You also get a point for being the angler to catch the most fish. And you also get a point for being the angler to catch the biggest fish. Now, a lot of times we weigh these fish immediately and have to declare. You don't have to do that today. If you catch it, weigh it, release it, because we're not keeping any fish. And at the end of the day, somebody's going to win two to one or maybe three to nothing. But man, I'll tell you what, my luck in competitions hasn't been too good lately. So if you want to bet, bet on Joel. All right, I'm starting with a bait I caught fish on in my last video. That's a Zoom Blacklight Z-Craw. Joel's starting with a black and blue Matrix Shad. I'm sorry, black and blue Matrix Craw with a really, really long tag. That should help him. They like that a lot. It looks like, it looks like an antenna, all right? Yeah. It confuses them. Now, I forgot to mention this, I think. The reason Joel and I decided to fish the afternoon, maybe I did mention it, I don't remember, is because this tide is falling. And it's falling hard. And I fished a rising tide on my last trip. And fishing this, this marsh, I much prefer a falling tide, particularly when you have this west wind. This water will get nice and low. These fish will get concentrated. And you can really have some epic days. The actual reason is that I'd work all morning. But... Yeah, Joel had to work too. But I remember years ago, Joel and I, not too many years ago, maybe two, had a great June trip fishing similar conditions. A windy day, wind out of the west, and we just waylaid the fish. I know what that was. No, I know what it was. I know what it was. Something that tastes very good boiled. Or steamed, if you're a Yankee. That's what I'm throwing. I'm going to throw a jig head. Yeah, visibility is six inches at best. At absolute best. All this grass around. Visibility is that bad. Can you hand me them skizzers, bro? Come on, doink me while Joel's distracted. Hoping on the other side this pond, the water's better. Filtered and all that grass. Donk. Come on, donk. Oh, there he is. There he is. I got a terrible hook set, Joel. Definitely a redfish. Yeah, oh, look at that. Nice red. Nice red. All right, that's first. That's one point. We had to go by length. This is, what do you say, 19? 19, yeah. All right, so that fish got me first. Not only that, it might get me biggest. Joel's scale is dead. It's full of water, so it's totally dead. So we have to go by inches instead of weight. Well, that was a 19 inch red that I caught. I'm gonna show you. Quarter ounce death grip jig head with a New Year's Eve H&H Kakao. Love this combo in dirty water. Uh-oh. Fish on? Joel's got a fish on. Like oh, dude, I got smoked right here next to the boat. Why is he not coming up? Looking redfish leg. It's, it's, it's not a bass. Dude, it's a little red. It's a little red? It's a little red if it's a red. Is it a trout? No, that's a red. That's a red. <laughs> he just realized he's hooked. Even though it's a competition, I'll net him for you. No, it's fine. I got him. You sure? Yeah. He's not nettable? Not, nettable. not net worthy? He's a 16. You don't get laughed at? He's a for dogging that little fish? That red. Nice red. He might be 19. Yeah. You want me to net him? I'll net him for you. I think mine was a little bigger, but... Ooh. Ooh. Lucky, lucky. Yeah. That's too uh, close to call. That's too close to call. 
All right, so we're tied on fish. I got the first. <laughs> no chance for Joel to beat that, but he can definitely beat Biggest. Right now we're tied on Biggest as well. So contest end, ends now, I'll win, Joel. Did he hit you that far out? No, he's a little close around. I got popped right here. I don't know what it was. Didn't get him. You can see all this matted grass here. It's all throughout this pond ahead of us as well. June is kind of peak grass month. In July and August, some of it dies back just from the interminable heat. But in June, it's really, it really thrives. It's grown all spring long and it's at its peak. And as bad as this water looks, I mean, we probably got about six inches of visibility. It would be far worse if we didn't have that grass. We'll finish these casts and then move on. Oh, dude, I got so, dr so drilled. Oh, goodness. He, he surprised me. There he is. There he is. This just goes to show you the difference between fishing a fallen tide and a rising tide, particularly this time of year in this marsh. Much better on a fall, but it's much hotter. <laughs> All right. Another red, out the same mold. Yeah, he might be bigger. That might be a 20. That might be a 20. He's definitely fatter. Oh my God. Oh, Joel's got him. Shoot. Uh-oh. You got a giant? Let's get a little measurement. Although I think the one Joel has is gonna beat this one no matter what. No, he's- 19 again. No. Joel is baby in his fish. Well, tell him why. Joel's fishing 12-pound test. You know, it's important to fish really, really light line in this filthy water. <laughs> How's he look? Oh, yeah, he's definitely bigger. You want me to net him? That's awful nice of me. Then I'll net him. Uh, I'll net him for you. Come on. Yeah, he's definitely bigger. That's a 20. He's not like substantially bigger, but he's definitely bigger. Big enough. Oh yeah, he's definitely bigger. That might be 21. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Joel's throwing the Spartacus Vortex Shad. How many reds are down here? Who knows? I missed one on that last cast and then hooked that one I reeled in. Joel just got a hit pretty quickly. Were you at the beginning of your cast when you got hit? Yeah. Unfortunately, I rule it when it goes up to 18. What do we call him? 21? 21. Alright, Joel, it's two to two. We're tied on that. I got first, you got biggest. So we're tied all the way around. I feel a lot better if I caught that fish. I feel a lot better if I caught the first fish. Yeah. You got a quarter ounce or three eighths? Quarter. Yeah, three eighths would probably be better. You still can't catch fish on a Texas rig. What do you mean? Oh no! Oh no! Come on, redfish. Joel's hooked up. Oh, there he is! Oh, I missed him. I'm turning around looking at you. I got a bad hook set. Shoot! <laughs> well, he's not in yet. Your line could still break. This is you we're talking about. Please, watch out. That's same mold. 19. That's a 19 inch fish. Hopefully you can see how dirty that water is. The fish vanishes just six inches below the surface. All right, it's three to two. Right. I mean, same, same, same exact mold. So I forgot to mention the loser of this challenge has to wash the new boat and it's actually very dirty. It's already dirty. Just from all these reds bleeding all over it. It's funny, I caught my first fish right here. Well, I mean, of course, we haven't thrown here again. All right, I was peeing, so I won't show you that part. But Joel just hooked up again. He'll double your lead. Oh, no. He's not a keeper? He's a keeper, but he ain't the biggest. Well, I know, but still. You're up three to two. Now you'll be up four to two. Oh, he engulfed that thing. Some great net technique there, Joel. Mm -hmm. 
All right, Joel's now up four to two. With this 12 pound test that's about to break. Oh, no way. Joel's hooked up again. Might be a black and chartreuse kind of day. <laughs> no dirty water. Although I think, I think, I think you're throwing farther. Think you're throwing farther. Yeah, I, I undid that spot lock. Oh, this ain't good. Nope, this ain't good. Uh, I think he's 16, but you can have the measuring. He might not be legal, but I think he is. Yep, 17. So that's five to two. Joel's up now five to two. Joel, can I reel in your next one? Yeah, I'll let you. Thank you. There he is. There he is. He's not big, Joel. Well, he might be. He might be out the same old. And he, he stomped on it. I mean, this fish stomped on it. Come on, baby. There we go. There we go. Oh. Come here, you big, beautiful thing. Whoa, what are you doing? Burst of energy. Yeah. Summertime redfish. Definitely don't act like the wintertime redfish. Come on, let's get you swinging the right way. There you go. That's a big fish, Joel. That's a big fish, Joel. <laughs> yeah, he is. Uh huh. That's a big fish, Joel. You better bite your tongue. Let's see what he is. He's 20. He is not 21. You're right. Ah, oh, Joel got a hit. Oh boy. Oh, Joel's hooked up again. Shoot. So it's five to two. No, five to three. But Joel is hooked up. So it's not a keeper. Yeah, he's a keeper. <laughs> I gotta get out there. Get a fish. Yeah, you just flip him. He's not that big. There you go. Alright, six to three. Good work shift. <laughs> six to three, a good work shift. Joel is well, he's doubled my fish. So Joel and I have noticed something, and we've talked to a lot of other anglers about this. Oh goodness, that's a good fish. Oh, Woo! Oh, no. What I was gonna say is that red fishing has been very tough across the Louisiana coast. And it, it's definitely the case. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say it isn't. Doesn't mean you can't get on a crazy good bite like we have today. I mean, look, we've been fishing. How long, Joel? 15 minutes. Yeah. We just launched the boat. This is a big fish. This is not. Uh, this isn't a 21. This is definitely not a 16 or 17 or 18. Whatever we've been catching. Dude, that's like a 25. This might be a 25. I think you might be right. We'll see. I'm fighting a ferocious current in addition to fighting this fish. Not in the boat yet, Johnson. And you know, the way my competition luck goes, <laughs> this fish is either going to get off or break me off, or you're going to sabotage me like you're doing. Like I can't believe you're doing. Good head shake. He's like, man, this thing won't come out of my mouth. What is this? There's a big fish. <laughs> There's a big fish. Woo! Oh. Felt something slip. Uh-oh, Joel's hooked up. Joel's going for the most prize. I got to get this one in and get the biggest. Man. Here. Sabotage. Ooh. Oh, well. dude, man. No, yeah. I used to change your diaper. <laughs> Woo, dog! Oh. Woo! This is a giant. <laughs> All right! All right! Definitely the biggest. <laughs> we gotta try and guess how big he is. I'm gonna have to mark something on his boat. Give me the net. Joel needs a net now. So that's six to four until you land that one. 
seven to four. This one was hooked in the corner of the mouth, which you gotta like. All right, we gotta mark something on this boat. All right, about an inch past the end of this. Okay, to the screw. Well, yeah, to about that screw, exactly. Um, 18 plus, almost another 10, yeah. yeah. 28. 28. So important in the summertime to revive these fish. Come on, dude. There you go. Good boy. Whew. Smart man would retie. Therefore, I'm going to cast. What do we say? Seven to four? Seven to four. Seven to four. There he is. There he is. We got an alligator over here watching everything we're doing. Wondering why we're letting all these fish go. I'd feed him one, but I like redfish a lot more than I like alligators. So he's going to find his own food. You got one? Oh, Joel's got one too. Shoot. Thought it was going to close the gap. Oh, that's a good one, but not as good as the last, so not worth measuring. That's seven to five. Oh, Joel's got one to trip and drag. <laughs> Great. All right, seven to five, but Joel has one hooked up, and he says he says it's a big one. But Joel likes to big eye his fish, so I'm not too worried. <laughs> he's not even close to tired. I'm more tired than he is. I worked all day. Yeah, he's fighting for his life. You're out here for your jollies. Ooh, Ooh that's a big ooh, fish. I'm a little scared now. Me? I mean, when he's close, I will. <laughs> All right. Oh! No, no way. <laughs> oh, goodness. You're gonna get a monster too. All right, we doubled up. I gotta fight mine around Joel's. Oh, beautiful. So pretty. Seven six, Joel. That's a big fish, man. He came in pretty quick for his size he is. Whew, they're getting aggressive. Look how deep he took this. Seven to six. Still time for you to lose that one. Man, he, he took it deep. Gotta love it, gotta love it. Yeah, dude, there you go, perfect. Joel needs a net. Even though I think I had a net in my own big one. Yeah, I think a 25 as well. It's a good fish, real good fish. Ooh, I don't know. He's bigger than you think he is. That's a big fish. I don't think he's as big as mine, but that's a big fish. All right, moment of truth. See if he reaches the screw. <laughs> that's a big fish, dude. I don't know. I'm a little worried. Oh. <laughs> he's, he's past, past the screw. Dad gum it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Boom. All right, Joel's big fish is actually bigger than the one I caught. How far past the screw? I'm gonna say three quarters of an inch. That one's gonna be hard to beat. That is a big fish, particularly on a 12 pound test. That's a monster. Man, what insane action today. This is why you wanna fish the falling tide this time of year. And to do that often, you gotta fish in the afternoon. Sometimes it's really hot. Today hasn't been too bad because of that west wind. And believe me, when you're catching fish this fast, you really don't feel it. But I kind of want to go through everything that we fished today. First of all, you can see out here where we caught all our fish. This is a windy bayou, deeper hole right there. Not crazy deep, but like nine or 10 feet. And those fish were just stacked up in here. Now look, this is a bayou we fished before. We've never caught the reds right there, ever. Not to say we haven't ever gotten a bite there, but nothing like this. It's kind of the beauty of exploring. That's why you want to get back in the marsh and go find stuff and just make casts all over the place because you'll eventually find some pretty good stuff most days. Now I caught all my fish on an H&H &H Cockahoe New Year's Eve color on a quarter ounce death grip jig head. Joel was throwing the Spartacus Vortex Shad also on a quarter ounce death grip jig head. But a few important things that Joel and I both fish are medium heavy rods. Now I went with this Akuma Psycho Stick. This is a really, really good rod. I really like it. We've got a team with an Akuma Helios reel. Like this reel a lot. Spooled on this is 30 pound soft steel braid 
it has really become my favorite braid. Actually, the first time I used it, it was my favorite braid. I just didn't want to declare it yet because I had to give it time, see if it broke a lot, whatever. It doesn't. It is just fantastic. Super smooth and really, really durable. Coincidentally, or not coincidentally, I have that team with 20 pound soft steel fluoro stretch leader. Now, the great thing about this leader is that it has a little bit of give to it. You know, the, the big negative to fluoro generally is that it's real stiff and brittle, breaks really easily. This stuff doesn't, it's got some give. Doesn't mean you can't break it. If you remember my last fishing trip, uh, I broke a fish off on the hook set, but that was my fault. I just caught a really big fish on it and didn't retie. But generally this stuff just has a lot of give. Those fish generally can't break it. Now, obviously, if you were paying attention throughout the video, I lost another challenge. Man, my record has been just abysmal. I think I'm 0 for the last dozen. That's not an exaggeration. I think I'm literally 0 for the last dozen. I just can't make it, <laughs> just can't make it happen on challenge days. Hey, I don't mind losing to this guy. He's a very, very good angler. He's always a whole lot of fun. That means I gotta watch the boat. Um, I don't mind a bit. It's actually, it's going to be a pleasure to watch this boat. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the Marshman Mass on channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Mass on. Ah!